We are going to our first mosquito client. Um, not, not we, we haven't perfected the system yet, but we have a whole bunch of different techniques we're going to implement in their back garden. Uh, they have a, a, a bad situation, and they call Eco Brooklyn because we look really smart on the website. So now we're going to hopefully go and help them. And um, she said she'd write a really good review online if we we actually succeeded. The, the bad thing about that is that she knows how to write reviews online <laughs> if we don't succeed. So, so here we are at the client's house and what we have is a yard that was set up to look fantastic and then they didn't maintain it like most yards and then it, it just wasn't designed correctly to start with. So the, the first flaw in the design is that they have a pond with the waterfall and uh, they turned off the waterfall and so the pond became septic, putrid and the only thing they can live in there are the mosquitoes. And so what we're going to do is we're going to take it out, clean it out, so that uh, there's more water, and then we're going to stick in a couple of little fishies, little tiny guys, and not not so large that they can bother the the dragonfly lot, just little feeder, minuscule little guys, but they'll they'll gorge themselves on on the mosquito larva, and. For, to, to kill the ones that are in there now, we're going to throw some mosquito dumps in there. Not a lot. When you have water that that's living, it's got bacteria and, and uh, plants, and it and that attracts mosquitoes, but it also attracts mosquito larvae, mm -hmm. and the mosquito larvae win. If you have like water in a in a car tire, that's dead water. It smells. It's 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 not alive mm -hmm. and the only thing that can really live in it are mosquito larvae and that's the problem we have in the cities. So what I'm doing here is I'm, I'm uh, thinning out the branches to one it's just good for the tree helps the tree grow bigger and taller but also it, it reduces the shade in this garden which is already a little bit dark. So. Uh, Mosquitoes love shade, so once, once we thin out the branches, there'll be less places for the mosquitoes to hide in. Uh, the other thing that we're going to do is we're going to take all the tr the overgrown bushes and stuff and we're going to trim them back so there's less shaded, uh, damp spaces. And um, what else are we going to do? We're, we're going to just run around and look really productive and professional <laughs> <laughs> and hopefully get some results. So that's the goal. Mosquitoes serve a purpose, but because we're a little bit of, out of whack, we've kind of taken over and we, we, we've destroyed the ecosystem. The mosquitoes came out as winners, and they um, there's just too many of them. They're, it's, it's out of balance. So what we're trying to do here is we're trying to rebalance the ecosystem a little bit, bring back the competition to the mosquito larvas, reduce the environment for mosquitoes, and uh, hopefully, do, well, do it without any chemicals. So, what was it, three weeks ago? We came here and this thing was looked like a horror film. It was teeming with mosquito larvae. And we put some mosquito dunks in there and 10 cute little minnows. And now there's no mosquito larvae to be seen. So in terms of this garden, we, we removed the source, but I don't know 
how effective we were in, in repelling the existing mosquitoes. But that's uh, still a work in progress. The, this, this thing here, a fancy little German mosquito catcher, totally useless, didn't do a thing. So we're going to take this out of here. But overall, there's just less mosquitoes here. So that's a good thing.